What's up with all this big balls? This is a before you buy of oh, John Paul's Gloutier Le Mail Le Parfum. Let's talk about this bottle design though. First of all, if y'all bought this already and it comes in this little tin foil can, you don't need a can opener, bro. I already even tried it. I was looking like I don't know how to open this. And then I was about to get a can opener, but I called my dude D and he was like, bro, you lift it up from the bottom. Yeah, all right. Tell me what can do that. Okay, so this is how the can look, right? It just say John Paul Gloutier's Le Mail Le Parfum, right? Open it from the bottom. Then you got the little dude in here. Now let's talk about this dude, cause I don't like this dude. Another bottle design, but this dude, he got, he got some, <laughs> I got some questions for this dude. He got some explaining to do. Come on, y'all, look at this. Look at, now look, 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 look. This the problem. See that? This is the problem. Why his ass so fucking big like that, man? You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man, I'm a dude, but my ass ain't even that big. I don't even know, like, I don't know why they made the bottle like this. Like, you'll think, like, from the top, you know it's a dude because of the chest and this side, but the back side is girl. It's like it's half dude, half girl. Cause look at that. Now I don't know if they did that so you can hold the bottle better, but it was like, but you holding the bottle by his ass. It's mad weird. Okay, but look though, to spread, it got this little pin top. You know what I'm saying? So don't got no top. It's like a little pin you put in there. So be careful because people might lose this little thing. And if you lose this, it's gonna make the bottle ugly. I like every accessory that comes with a bottle. If I lose the top, I don't want it no more. And I'm just like that. All right, so John Paul Gloutier Le Mail Le Parfum. This is a very warm, spicy, vanilla, aromatic fragrance. The top note is cardamom. The middle note has lavender and iris. Base notes has vanilla, oriental notes, and some woody notes. If you recognize them notes, you understand that there's a lot of fragrances out here that got them similar notes around there. So I kind of look at this as like another most wanted, you know what I'm saying? Another um, Invictus Victory, them date night fragrances, okay? This is a date night fragrance, all right? But you know what's so crazy about this? I like the smell. Just It smells good, you know what I'm saying? But it's not strong. Like, you spray it, you smell it out the gate like, wow, Iris, hmm, lavender, wow. You smell every note in this fragrance, but then, you just got you got this feeling that it don't project that heavy, and it don't. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it does smell good, but it don't project. It's not that strong to be the lay parfum. It's just really close to the skin. You know what I'm saying? Now, what was really killing me is that this is a lay parfum, and it also doesn't last that long. I promise you, you only get four to five hours with this. All right? I don't care what nobody say. Four to five hours, and you ain't smelling it no more. I don't know what's going on with this. I compared this to other date night fragrances, and it's losing. It ain't doing good. And everybody been, you know what I'm saying, saying, get LaMail, get LaMail, get LaMail. But it's like, bro, this ain't even all that. Now, they say Ultra Mail out there lasts longer than this. But the Ultra Mail, what is that, the toilet or the EDP? I don't know. But it ain't the, ain't the, it ain't the Le Parfum, you know what I'm saying? This is the strongest concentration. This should be lasting years beyond the Ultra Mail, all right? This is like a, um, this is a fragrance for your dude that's like maybe like, mid 20s you could be on the youthful side it's a youthful fragrance because of that iris when you ever put some iris and lavender in there it gets on the more youthful side but i can't say i do love the bottle design i feel like this is top tier bottle designs anytime they can make the bottle into something that's just not a regular aqua d joe bottle or you know what i'm saying the blue d chanel bottle or the dior savage bottle when they can make a design out of bottle y'all get an a plus based on just creativity by itself. Now the projection, like I said, ain't really all that. You walk into a room, ain't nobody gonna fall to the ground, but this is one of those fragrances that if people give you a hug, or if you walk swiftly past people, or people are really in close, close proximity to you, you can get some compliments from this. But if you're talking about just walking past in a room and you light the whole room up, like you just a walking candle, no, nah, this ain't gonna do it for you. You know what I'm saying? I do say you should spray this about six to eight times just to get the proper use out of it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just not worth the hype, okay? Y'all was hyping it up like crazy, and it's like, ah, ah, most wanted. Invictus Victory. You know what I'm saying? The Earth Survivor's Elixir. This, uh-huh, uh-uh. So what I recommend is out there, 
it's like I recommend this if you just a John Paul Grudier friend because I understand how it is to be faithful and loyal to one brand because I love Paco Rebond, I love Dior so I like get all of their fragrances but when it comes to this pick it up if you're a collector's uh, um, type person like if you're a collector type dude but if you're talking about going and shutting the club down you ain't gonna do it with Mr. Booty Clone over here because Booty Man ain't, ain't gonna do it for you. You know what I'm saying? You can find this for like maybe like 110 for the 3.4 fluid ounce bottle, which is okay. You know what I'm saying? That's actually a good price. That's not too bad. You know what I'm saying? Usually all designer fragrances all be around the same price so they can stay competitive. You kinda gotta look at designer fragrances like gas. You know what I'm saying? Gas, you know what I'm saying? You might have like four gas stations on the same corner, but they prices are all gonna be this around the same thing. Same thing with fragrances. So that's really all I gotta say about this. If you like this review, make sure you just like, comment, and subscribe. John Paul Good of the Year. Ain't really doing it all like that for me, you know. I'm ta -da. All right, y'all. I love y'all. Um, if you want to support me, don't forget to buy my coffee link is down below. All right. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me if I'm tripping. Tell me if I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I might be tripping. You know what I'm saying? If y'all like it, let me know. But me, nah, dog. It's not worth the hype. All right. Big boss. And I'm out. Bitch, I'm big boss. I'm a threat. Bitch, nigga, pipe down. Before I flex, I'ma put a whole lot of money on your dreads. Like a bowling ball, I put a hole in your head. Shit that you rap in your songs, I'll be live.